Static, Bandai took down those streams and banned him from the game. He got banned. So. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot strikes again, literally. Now, if you guys don't know the story, there's been a lot of early leaks of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's horrible gameplay and story mode. And we have this courtesy of Easy Ed uh, 2. I will link to his channel below, and here's the story. So Easy Ed 2 had a early access copy of the game. Now, he's not gonna tell us how he got the game, but he had the full game and all throughout this weekend, he streamed the contents of this game and he exposed a lot of the flaws that the game had. I'm talking about the animation is horrible. I mean, what you see in the trailers, those are like the best looking parts of the game. And I'm gonna describe this because it feels like clickbait on top of clickbait. Now, again, this example is gonna sound a little bit weird, but you know how you on the hub, you know, that hub, and then you be hovering your mouse over and they be playing like a, spe a sped up GIF version of whatever the video is, trying to make it look more intense than what it really is. That's practically what they did in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot's trailer. Like they, they got all the best looking scenes and footage, sped it up and made it look more intense than what it actually does in the gameplay. Like that's exactly what they did because I sat there and I was looking at this game and the oh my god the 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 animations are bland like don't get me wrong it it, it does it doesn't look good it looks standard like the and the actual animation the graphics look standard in the actual gameplay and this was a 1080p stream and it looked horrible the dub voice acting and i know a lot of people are going to swirl in well, we'll just use original language the dub voice acting was horrible and i mean horrible it, I, I felt like i was watching uh uh a team video like you know how you have di different dubbing teams that'll come on and do parodies i felt like i was watching a parody uh, of dragon ball this is it it felt like a slap in the face if you're a true dragon ball z fan that's what it felt like watching these scenes because a lot of the performances are phoned the hell in so this guy easy ed too was streaming the game and he he got i mean the, the content is sparse to say the least because he played all the way from the beginning of the game up to the beginning of the android saga and it only took him four hours to get there so that should tell you how much actual content this game features even in dragon ball xenoverse any of the xenoverse games take your pick it will take you longer than that to get to the uh the cell arc or the cell saga, the android saga of the game. But even then, man, the whole, not even hilarious in a good way. Like, you know, sometimes dubbing can be bad, but good. Like, a lot of people say the Bible Black, the, fi the family friendly anime, it has hilarious dubbing, but it's so hilariously bad that it's good. No, 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 no. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is so bad that it's depressing like the performances are terrible the animation <laughs> the animations get lazy uh to points where they'll fade to black in certain scenes that don't call for it like oh well goku explains this to chi chi blah 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 or piccolo says this to gohan blah 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 they just fade to black put a little piece of text on there and that's it like all that trumped up bull crap that they were putting in these sizzle trailers. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone that's about to get fooled by this game. And I'm trying to make this video and get it out to spare you guys the expense of, of this bull crap. Cause I mean, I expected more from CC2. Now don't get me wrong. The scenes that they do animate beautifully, they're animated beautifully, but they, they get lazy in like I would say 90% of the game, like, okay, the Frieza versus Goku battle, the animations where they actually do the QTE cutscenes, all that junk, it looks good. I'm not gonna lie, it looks okay. 
for a CC2 experience. But I'm talking about the actual gameplay. The gameplay looks, I, I'm telling you, in game, this stuff looks no better than a PS3 game. Like the top tier PS3 game, it, it looks no better than that. Now, I'm being honest, you think I'm trying to be, I don't know, hyperbolic, you think I'm trying to be, uh, uh, take a position of being uh, exaggerating here or whatnot. I'm not. I'm telling you guys the truth. So go check out Easy Ed. They actually, what they did, and this is the disgusting part here that kind of gets to me, right? This guy was exposing everything that they did. Not only did they strike down his videos, the streams that he was getting like thousands of viewers in there watching his content, watching him uh play this horrible game and people were laughing at it and leaving like comments saying that, like this was horrible like how is this the continuation of legacy of goku like this is pathetic bandai i don't know ban it has to be bandai because they're the publishers took down those streams and banned him from the game he got banned so again don't just take my word for it go watch the guy's update video he has several videos like at least the uh, four or five different streams that he did and Namco Bandai took them all down now did I not tell people that this was gonna happen not specifically the band part but I told you there were gonna be, pe be people that would get like these copies from like mom and pop stores or from some uh, unforeseen source and they were gonna put these videos online and now again this would just be promotion for the game Again, like, I mean, uh, Namco Bandai is already showing all the game themselves. So well, it's not like the guy's spoiling anything. He's just showing how bad the game really is. I mean, you guys are showing everything. You're showing Trunks in, in, in the Android saga. You're showing Freeze and Go. You're showing everything yourselves, but you single out this guy because he's showing the bad aspects of the game. He's showing what people really want to know, the full game, the full experience, and you guys go out of your way to strike him down. Now, I don't know if his channel is in any danger. Uh, it could have just been copyright takedowns, but that still will affect his channel because he was getting tons. I mean, if you got a couple, if you got a thousand people watching your stream and you're getting all that watch time from it. I mean, I think he would have jumped from like a, a, a thousand different subscribers in the time span that he did uh, that live stream. And it's kind of sad to see all that work diminish because Namco, Namco Bandai took down his streams and banned him. Th th that's sad. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Uh, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell. Again, uh, courtesy of all this information, gameplay, etc. go look at Easy Ed 2. I will put a link in the comment section, description, whatever, so you guys can go verify everything through him. The game is bad. He was trying to be nice in his update video because Bandai hit him with the old with, with, with the old takedown notices and whatnot. But uh, the game is hit. It's terrible. It, it's just bad. But uh, I'll let you guys be the judge of that. I'm just putting the information out. Of course, I've been your perfect being the number one anime gaming Dragon Ball and Xenoverse channel on YouTube. Alpha, Omega, but never Beta. Lord Para here. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.